Ivan. Only a few survived. They managed to save him. To sustain the flame of liberty. Some hope of that. Ah, but there is, my friend, there is, as never before. Ven Glind, recently defected from the Federation, and with enough evidence to condemn Servland and her friends to eternity. I'm giving them clearance. Look, we've been on the run for a long time. What have we achieved? Access to Federation ciphers no. that have been regularly recoded. A raid on talking. Central and empty pretense. Talk of Star One. Talk of an alliance. Talk, talk, talk. Until now. His plan is perfect. Only if we can get to that Governor's Summit meeting. This evidence. You'll hear it the moment the Liberator's on course. Your bracelets. Unless that's not Shivan. Unless that's just like. I don't know. Someone else? Travis? The evidence, my friends. Need I continue? Enough, as I have said, to convict the Terran administration and Space Command. Only if you can achieve a fair and honest court hearing. Which is, to put it mildly, improbable. Ah, but it isn't. It isn't. Listen. Governor Legrand of the Outer Gal region... The only sane one amongst them. No, there are others who will follow her lead. The majority, in fact. They will hear Governor Legrand. She knows to expect this. I would never have risked defection without her personal complicity. Yes, but how precisely did Governor Legrand assist you? Assist you in... Just short of Atlay, and then go in with her delegation. And herald at last the epoch of true freedom. I don't want to, like, be rude, but Blake is getting on my tits a little bit. Governor. Supreme Commander Sevalan. You wish some service? Merely a check on the security arrangements for Atley. Ah, yes. The summit meeting. Now, let me see. That is in the hands of Deputy Commander Gold. One day, very soon, the criminotherapists will have their sport with you. Communications. Transmit a message using pre-revised ciphers. Message to read. Behold, the mutants shall wither. No. Oh, please, as a gesture of unity. To his followers, Blake, as evidence of your alliance. I have no need. Unless Blake knows what he's Is doing, because did mean, they just try and give them that thing to, like, plant Blake as a bad guy? Event. So what is wrong? You deduced it yourself earlier. I did? Space Command has long tried to perfect a course interceptor, attuned to the circuitry of navigational computers and rational coordinators like Zen. The scientists on Auron, however, had the wit to aim for the weaker point. The human brain. Correct. A telepathic order was beamed to Blake to force him to reroute to that asteroid. As you yourself foresaw. So tell us something new. A device of that kind would need an enormous power source. Agreed. But now that they have... Now that they are close at hand, low power, of course. It's the pink thing. Intercepting outer gal transporter. I reckon. Slowing to maintain relative vectors for teleport. At last, Villa, assemble the others for teleport. Just rush over, all of us. Such humility, Blake. Or unless it's literally I that see I shall have to tutor you in bandage protocol. Bandage. But the governor will wish to express her homage. But the most of all, Glean, with this. Read that, your man. For you alone, you the real master. Be careful. The eminence Glee. You imagine I haven't smelt you out? Sharp of you. You cannot pretend that it was coincidence that honed us onto that asteroid. They summoned you, Blake. They whistled you up like a service robot. Hey. I don't know. Fenglin? Yes, Avon. Nothing. Avon's just nervous, that's all. Blake, ready to teleport? Teleporting, Gullet. Gonna... 
I heard word of you from an admirer. None other than Supreme Commander Sevalan. She still fears you, you and Blake. While there's life, there's threat, she told me. A fitting prophecy. If our destiny is to be fulfilled. Your hand, Shivan. Your hand, Blake. To destiny, my friends. To destiny. destiny. One moment. Raven. Listen to Orak. Just listen. Your dreams, Blake. Yes. They were stimulated for you by the influence of a beamed telepathy transmission. Telepathy? What about these people here? The governor, the arbiter general, aren't they real enough for you? Your weapon. No, Dagoo. No, no. Jella, teleport. I can't tell like, if Blake is kind of aware of what's going on. Well, we should. The strain could otherwise have proved excessive. Nagu, He's going to help, isn't he? Minister to his needs. Nice. Very, very nice. Hensley shuttle docked at conference center. Activate scanners to intercept local transmissions. Activated. Security force wall still in operation? Affirmative. No. I could try frequency intervention. What do you want? My, my lady Lagrange. What's wrong? My lady. What did I say? I don't trust anyone. I actually can't believe I got I'm that right. Excited. Not for that cause. Legrand and Glint are traitors. Their futile subversion was monitored from the start by Servalin. It was her idea to send the incapacitated rebel Shivan as a fugitive to outer girl. So you and the Supreme Commander are working together again? Let's just say our objectives coincide. I wonder if the rest of Space Command realize that. To the teleport. Governor Lopold, you are completely surrounded. Ooh. If you wish to avoid the object, you will instruct your bodyguard to put down their weapons. The theme. I repeat, your bodyguard will put down their weapons. I don't see how anyone is no. ever. Touch those coordinates. <laughs> put me down there. Do it! Yeah, put him down there. Come on, Kelly, get them up. Get ready to teleport now. Do you read me, Jenna? Get ready to teleport. No, Kelly! Stop! No teleport! Do you read me, Jenna? No, Kelly, negative! Callie, bring us up now. Are you all right? He's a hard man to rescue when he doesn't want to be rescued. More to the point, are you yourself? What happened? Oh, Why are we at Del 10? He doesn't What's going remember on? any of it. Why don't you just say thank you nicely? Or has the Federation disappeared? Our problem is to find Star 1, if you hadn't forgotten. I'm sorry to have to inform you that he is himself, all right? <laughs> Well, I don't know how I feel about that episode. I don't know if it's 
my feelings are more focused on the fact that I was a <laughs> Blake. Even though I know he couldn't help it, there was still a massive frustration there. Then I was annoyed at Villa for being so gullible. Um, very highly focused on the Liberator, very highly focused on Blake. And I don't know if maybe if it was like another of the characters that I'd have felt a different way. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I enjoyed the pairing of Avon and Callie because we had a lot of them together. I would just like some more focus on Callie and Jenna. I think particularly Callie. I really like Callie. And um, I get it's Blake Seven. I get it. But I don't think Blake is the strongest character. And I think a lot of you in the comments will agree with me. So actually, I kind of... <laughs> I kind of want a little break, a little like break from Blake, you know, not that I'm saying I don't want him in it, but it's like, can we, can I have a focus on like Callie? Because I really like her. Um, I suspected it was Travis. I did say, didn't I? <laughs> I mean, did I actually think it was going to be Travis? No, that was just a lucky guess. But I did suspect because of the cover. I was like, hmm. And we had the dodgy eye again. And I was like, hmm, don't know. Servalan, no one wins around her, it seems, you know, she's, she's got people in high places, she's got like, she's got spies everywhere, she knows what's going on, so, yeah, I, I don't necessarily feel like the plot of that episode was that strong, I get the element of Blake being taken over, but I don't think the, the, like, the rest of it was that strong but that could that's that absolutely could be me um i think i just feel frustration from villa and blake <laughs> like when villa was untying him i was like what are you doing man what are you doing and also the fact that blake didn't remember any of it like i'd be sitting him down and telling him exactly what we just went through to save him you know i bet like, you best appreciate what we just did um, the music in that was great. That was one of my favourite episodes for music. It was it was really quite haunting, actually. Um, yeah, just a very unique episode. I don't think it would be one that I would jump to watch again. I, yeah. Um, and it's always interesting when you have people come on board the Liberator. That always makes me very, very nervous because it's just not natural. <laughs> So yeah, I do definitely feel, you know, there is, there's still, I still feel this build up, still sense that there's going to be a big, big old something, you know, at the end of the series. But I just really hope we don't lose any more um, characters because I'm, I'm happy with, I'm really happy with the crew that we've got. But uh, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. I'm I'm really intrigued to know your thoughts on that episode. Why do I feel like a lot of you are going to really have liked it? I'm not saying I didn't like it. I just... Blake and Villa really frustrated me in that episode. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. And I shall see you... Hmm. Am I seeing you next week? I've got a break. Yes, I will be seeing you next week for episode 